is literally in love. What's going on? Not much, hanging out with Rubes. Hey Ruby. Let's go, buddy. So big. All right, what are we doing today? Come on, Ruby, why don't we tell them? We are installing the easiest life bar ever. Must have for sure. Magnetic, plugs right into the cigarette outlet and has a remote control. Are you, what are you, is he? Doing what I think he is? I don't know. And just as a pro tip, if you're looking for an easy way to mount a leash, you know, now that we're dog parents, we have dog problems, just go ahead and grab your leash, get your shackle, just like so. Just like that, you got yourself a leash holder. Ruby, ready to film, buddy? Hey, what's this? What's this in your Hey, what's that? <laughs> My stick. Hey. Alrighty, we'll Oops. let him have some fun. Thank you. This is something Aline has wanted to get her hands on for such a long time now. What is? What do you got in your hand? Alrighty, you guys, we have the easiest to install light bar. It is magnetic, it plugs right into your cigarette lighter, and it works with a remote control, which is sick. This is the Super E Searchlight. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, it is because we absolutely love all of their lighting products and accessories. We have their headlights, the sequential headlights, on our Jeep Wrangler TJ, and today we are gonna show you the easiest way to add light to the exterior of your Jeep. Doesn't require any tools at all, and even comes with a remote control so that you're able to adjust the direction and angle of light. Not only that, we're gonna show you side-by-side -side comparisons with our current light bars so you can just get a sense of how bright it really is. So make sure to stay tuned to the very end. Now, if you're new to our channel, my name is Greg and I drive that monster Jeep TJ Rubicon over there. And my name is Aline and I drive this JKU over here. We are both working professionals. We both have doctorates. I am a medical doctor licensed in the state of California. And Aline is a... <laughs> I am an educational doctor. I teach. So between that, we don't always get the time to make these videos, but when we do, we get to install awesome products like this. Also, Super E has mentioned to us that our viewers get a special discount on this product, I think up to 30% off. So make sure to check out the description of this video and make sure to mash that subscribe button so you never miss out on awesome deals and cool reviews. So without further ado, let's get started. As you all know, Greg and I love light. Can you, can you tell? I mean, look at all of her light bars. The big one, the hood one, as well as the little pillar pods. Now, both of our Jeeps have a variety of different lights because we love it. So I'm super stoked to see how this one holds up next to the rest of our light sorry accessories. To, sorry to interrupt. Just look at Ruby. He found his little bit of shade and he's just <laughs> going to town with that stick. Oh, baby. Anyways, where were we? Gonna see how this one stacks up next to our other light accessories. So let's get our box open. Let's do it. Oh, this is a big baby. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That thing is massive. Wow. That is 10, looks like 10 LEDs in there. The circular types, the projector. Can I see, oh, and just cigarette end on the cigarette other. Cigarette end. And my little cell phone from the 90s with my antenna. Hello, hello. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and do this in real time? Go ahead and, do you have your keys? No. Um, I have my keys. Okay. Let's grab my keys. I gotta put batteries in here. Into the, oh, what, what was that? And it already has batteries it comes in there? batteries in there, perfect. Cool. Why don't we go ahead and take it to the Rubicon? Let's do it. Which one, this little Rubicon? Rube, okay. you wanna see our new light? Is. It's the size of him. It's All probably right. heavier than him too. Alright, you should I just put this bad baby on your roof? Be careful, be careful. When you place it, it's magnetic. Yeah. So it's gonna like, you have to place it very slowly unless you're trying to damage my Jeep and sabotage. Thinking, you know. Alright, well let's put it slowly. Why don't you just slap it on the hood somewhere? Okay, right here. I'm scared now. <laughs> That's just, sturdy. Just to give you a reference for size, that thing is larger than my, I think that's an eight inch or nine inch pillar pod. Why don't we go ahead and loosen that? 
You can go ahead and then unplug the phone charger, plug that thing in, and it should be hot. Hey, like my husband Greg. Oh my god. If you haven't seen the rest of our install videos, we literally built this Jeep up from scratch. The lift kit, the 38 inch Milestar tires, the doors, the soft top, the lack of the top, literally everything from scratch. I even wired in those light bars to the high beam to use off road. We're hot. It's plugged in. All right, turn it on. Wow. Oh, I can adjust it. Yeah, go ahead and move it around. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, man. Is there brightness levels? No. Why don't I see the remote? Wow. Very user friendly. On, off, right, up, and down. That's cool. Pretty much it. How, uh, can you, does it do 360? <laughs> we call this mode the suicide mode. Just shine it right into your eyes as you're driving. Does it go all the way? No, it stops at that point. Okay. Now, I just point it right at me. Let me just see how far it goes. This way. Okay, cool. So you basically can go 360. Yeah. How high up can you point it? Oh, wow. That is so cool. Point it down. Now, I know it's kind of hard to tell. Wow. Point it directly at me, Ollie. I can't tell. You tell me where go, to go. Go, 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 go. Okay. So this is how it looks in the pure daytime. Go ahead and flash the high beam, Aline. So that's the difference in terms of brightness to kind of give you a daytime reference. Why don't we fast forward to nighttime? All right, we are here on a dark street. This is above the Jeep. The top is down, as you can tell. Let's go ahead and click it on. Boom. So bright. I mean, look at that. You can go up, you can go down. That is like a laser beam. I mean, just look at how it projects to those trees. Check this out. That is a searchlight, if I know of any. And you could turn it as much as you want. So let's just see how that stacks up to other things. So I guess here, why don't we do this? Let's turn it off. And here's the light bar. So as you can tell, nowhere I mean this is way more focused it's like a searchlight so clearly it's it's um, you know serves a different purpose serves a different purpose so this is cool to have I think it's it's gonna make a nice addition to our equipment so it's pretty nice to have it's gonna definitely make a nice little addition to our equipment in our trunk I think it can come in a lot of handy when you're camping or when you're trying to get do some work and you need a very focused light I also think this remote control is pretty cool as well. What do you think, Aline? Can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> Still barely can see me. Nope. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to the daytime. Just to kind of get a sense of how sturdy that is. Like, I'm curious. Can you take this on the freeway? Can you take it on? At what speed it, does it become safe? I, so you can get a pretty good idea of how fast you could be driving with it based on how sturdy it is. So I'm going to try to just tilt it and let's see what happens. So it takes quite a bit of force actually to move it around. And if you just try to straight lift it up, that's a lot of force. I, I, would, I would think that this is going to be safe to take on the freeway. But, you know, don't quote me on that. What do you think? Let me try. And it looks like it also has this rubber pad on the bottom so it doesn't damage the paint. So. Alright, let's switch. Why don't you try to move it? Alright. Okay. It's pretty sturdy. Okay, okay. For those of you that aren't ready to commit to a full light bar attaching it to your battery, this is a great alternative and it's a great way just to dip your toes into the light accessory if you're camping, if you're off-roading, or if you just like cool stuff for your Jeep. Check it out. You know what else this would be cool for? What? You could, pro you could also probably put this on the back. And if you're ever in a dark place, you can just, you know, use it as a reverse light too. Yeah. You could pretty much use it as a rock light. 
a wedding light, a venue light, you know. <laughs> Why is that on your mind? Just saying. Just your time saying. is d your wedding uh -huh. time is done. Uh -huh. Those days are gone. Anyways, we are we are up one ruby now. <laughs> oh, little guy. Hey, he used to not fit into this harness. Now I'm recording all that. You can go ahead and speak. It's pretty cool what you did there, Greg. Why don't we take a look? I, I totally can see myself keeping this in my trunk and using it. Look at this. That is so cool. So why don't we wrap up? Let's do it. Possibly one of the easiest install videos we have ever done. Literally no tools required, no thought, nothing required whatsoever. Someone doesn't want to be outside. No. If you want to laugh, give your dog a piece of ice. It's fun. Ruby, oh Ruby. You want me to say hi? He got a little hot. So if you're in the market for a light bar but don't yet want to commit, this is the perfect option by Super Re. Check out our description and the top comment below to see how you can get a coupon code to get yourself one of these and try it for yourself. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at Garage Couple for our day to day, you guys. You guys have been giving us a lot of great ideas on Instagram. We are excited to continue the journey. We have so much in store, you guys. We cannot wait. We don't always have an install as easy as this. We've installed lift kits, made an hour long step by step video on how to lift both of these Jeeps. We've done rear main seals, valve cover gaskets, the computers, all sorts of things. So it's definitely really refreshing when we're able to just pop this thing on, plug it in and let it roll. If you like this video, show us your support by hitting that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That, that is how we grow and that is how we're able to make cool videos like this and do awesome, awesome giveaways. Do you think we should give one of these away? Who would be interested in a giveaway? One of these for a free giveaway. We've given out thousands and thousands of dollars worth of products on this channel just to spread that Jeep joy and this might be the next one. Would you guys rather have one of these or a LED headlight? Why don't you drop your preference in the description below and who knows, maybe we'll give away one in the near future. Alrighty you guys, well thank you for staying tuned, staying tuned in, tuning in. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you guys soon. Bye guys. It wasn't recording. I wasn't driving. Are you serious?